Hello, I'm Melissa Wu from EXP Realty. Today, I would like to talk to you about seven steps that happen when we get an offer. So if we get one single offer, usually the offer is emailed to, to me. When I get the offer, I will calculate something called the expected disclosure of remuneration. So based on the offer price, I will calculate what are the fees applicable, the total fees, the breakdown of the fees included in the offer. Then I will call you and I'll email it to you and we will go over the, the fee covered from the offer, the conditions of the offer. Condition, usually there are five main conditions. The number one condition is subject to financing. The second condition is subject to inspection. The third is property disclosure statement for review. And the fourth is title search, which we may have already done. The fifth are sometimes include like if there's an underground oil tank or feasibility study. So there are maybe some other subjects, but usually these are the five. And if it's a very exciting property and we're getting multiple offers, sometimes the buyer agent would waive all these subjects. It could be an unconditional offer. After we re receive all the offers, we may counter the offer. We may not accept the price we can counter. After we counter the offer a few times or sometimes once, or we may accept it. We have three choices. Number one is rejected, no counter. Number two is counter. Number three is accept. So those are the choices we have. And if we decide to accept the offer, that is step two. After we accept the offer, then depending on if there are subjects, right? If there are subjects, they may take like anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. So during this time, the property is not sold yet. We just have something called accepted offer. So there's a waiting period from accepted offer to subject removal date. There's a time frame, right? So during this time frame, the buyer is doing their diligence. They're working on the financing. After financing approval, they will do an inspection. After inspection, um, if they like it, they will remove the subject. But suppose there is something, there is some deficiency, they may come back and ask us, oh, um, can the seller fix these few things? Or if the seller cannot fix, can they reduce the price? So those are the options that can happen or scenario that can happen between the accepted offer and the subject removal date. So finally, from a few days to a few weeks, we have the subject removal date, right? So that is step three, subject removal date. If they remove subjects, then congratulations, we are sold. So on the subject removal date or within 24 hours of the subject re removal date, normally we would get a deposit draft, right? Show me the money. If we have a deposit draft, then we are sold, firm. Right? So subject removal need to accompany a deposit check for it to be like firm sold. So the deposit check stay usually with the buyer agent brokerage trust account. So that's where it's going to go from the subject removal date to the completion time. From the subject removal date to the completion time, it could be a few weeks or a few months. Sometimes if it's longer completion, if both party agree, it could be longer. So on usually it's a few weeks to a few months. That is the time from the firm sale to when we pass the key, which is the possession time. So from the subject removal to the completion, the completion is already step five. So during the, the time we have now, a few weeks to a few months, you have to cover step six as a seller. Step six include packing. Packing, decluttering, and managing all the move in your home. And if there were deficiency that you agree to fix, 
then we have to work on the deficiency. Suppose it's a brand new home, the, after the inspection, the buyer might request the builder to do a few things to the home, such as like touch up paint, so that is quite common, touch up paint. And then if there's some screws loose, we just fix. So deficiencies like that. Or a little bit scratch floor, we have to repair it. So during the time, we have to fix the deficiency and then we have to pack. And also you need to remember to call. Call, um, who do you call? Call BC Hydro, connect, disconnect the hydro, call Fortis Gas to disconnect the gas and to call your insurance company, maybe you have leftover premium that you may get a credit back. And then also, you must inform the listing agent, me, who you will be using for the conveyance of your property at the completion time. The conveyance person can be a notary public or a lawyer. So this is the person that you will pick up your money from. So usually it has usually is a lawyer and or a notary public. So they will prepare statements of adjustment, meaning how much is your household, what you owe as a mortgage, and what are the fees and your property tax, all calculated on a statement of adjustment. So they will prepare all this paperwork. Once they are ready, usually about like two weeks before the completion date, they will call you, oh, your paperwork is ready. You can come and sign and check if it's correct. So when you go to the conveyance, uh, your lawyer or notary, you check it. You check all the documents and you sign it to in preparation for the completion. So now step seven, completion time. Completion time is when we pass the keys. So because you have a few weeks up or a few months to prepare for this time, so you're already packed and you have a place to go to. So during this time, you may be looking for a property or you may already have to move to. I, of course, will be honored to serve you and help you buy a place as well. So that's step, step seven. At the possession time, we are ready to move. The place must be packed, moved, and also cleaned. It's very important if you do not have time to inform me, I can help you and the line up a cleaner for professional cleaning. So when the buyer come in, they are very happy to purchase the home and have a great experience. That is very important. So we pass the keys and also a clean home to the buyer. And of course, you are my great client. I will prepare a closing gift for you. And if you're happy with our experience and sales service, I would love to have a referral from you. Thank you so much for watching and that is all for today.